This is a demo of a technique that I like to use for removing backscatter from underwater images. It's especially useful in images that have a lot of backscatter to take care of. This particular example has quite a bit over here in the blue water area, so what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit on this image and move to the upper corner so that we can see what's going on a little more clearly. If I look over here in the history palette, I can see that so far, only one thing has happened to this image. We've opened it. We haven't done anything else yet. I'm going to open the filter menu and choose a filter in the noise section called Dust and Scratches. This is going to bring up a dialog box for this filter, and it has two controls, a threshold control that we never use, and a radius control that will control the amount of filtration that we apply to the image. You can see that as I slowly increase the radius, the backscatter in the image is reduced. In this case, I'm going to set the radius to 5 pixels. You can use more or less depending on your image. Now when I look at my image, I see that all my nice detail is gone. It almost looks like an oil painting. But this is not a problem. We're going to use a couple of special features of Photoshop called a history state and a history brush to tame this dust and scratches filter. I come over to the history palette and next to the dust and scratches filter, I'm going to click on this little box and it's going to set an icon called a history state. This is the place that the history brush will use as a source of pixels to paint with. Now I'm going to click back on the first step in the history where we initially open the image and when I do that the image becomes sharp and clear again, all the backscatter comes back, and the dust and scratches filter is now grayed out. It's a future filter state. It hasn't happened yet, but it is still set as my history state. Now I'm going to select the history brush from the tool palette. You'll notice that the icon for the history brush matches the icon that indicates the history state. Now backscatter is really unique stuff. It's always lighter than the surrounding background area. So what we really want to do here is darken the pixels that are backscatter and not mess with anything else. So I want to darken the white specks, and make them blue to match the surrounding water, but I don't want to do anything to the existing blue pixels. Fortunately, Photoshop gives us a cool way to do just that. If I come up to the menu bar, there are some options for the brushes. One of the options is called Mode. This is where you set your painting mode for the brush. When I pull the menu down, you will see that there are lots of different options, and one of them is called Darken, which will only darken pixels if possible. This is exactly what we want to do. If the mode is set to Darken, the History brush will change a pixel only if the change makes the pixel darker. So we sample pixels from the future Dust and Scratches filter state, and if those pixels are darker, we paint with them. And if not, we don't change anything at all. So I can use a nice big brush. I have a fairly good sized one now, but I don't have to be as careful as I would if I were going to do a normal clone. So I'm going to use the shortcut key of square right bracket to increase the brush size. Now I'm just going to start painting strokes up here in the blue, and you can see that as I paint, the white specks go away, but nothing else is affected. I can even come in close to areas with detail, and if I haven't set my radius too high in the dust and scratches filter, I won't bother that detail by painting over it due to the darken mode. It only changes the backscatter because it's lighter. So I can very quickly clean up the image without worrying about being careful near areas that I don't want to change. If I look back over in the history palette, you'll see that at the top, I have my initial opening state, and then I have a whole lot of brush strokes with the history brush. If we go all the way down to the bottom, you can see that every time I painted with the history brush, it pushed the dust and scratches filter a little further into the future. So we never actually got to the filter and applied it to the whole image. We only applied it to the backscatter because we told the brush only to make pixels darker. 
This is a very quick and easy technique and a good way to get rid of a lot of backscatter with a minimal amount of effort.